Many of you probably know Clarence Thomas for his 31 years as Supreme Court Justice, but what you might not know is that he spent one year at Conception Seminary just north of here. News Press Now's Quinn Ritzdorf has the story. Abbott Benedict Neenan and Tom O'Brien were freshmen with Clarence Thomas in the 1967 class at Conception Seminary. They say Clarence was one of the smartest and most athletic kids in the class, but they remember most about him was his laugh. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. If you could get him going, which wasn't hard. Oh, it was hilarious. And that laugh would engender more laughs, laughing at his laugh. Clarence's move from high school in Savannah, Georgia, to Seminary College in a tiny rural Missouri town was an adjustment. This was 1968, so there's a lot of issues going on, including civil rights. And uh, that may have been part of it. But I'm assuming that he decided priesthood was not really for him. During trips to Kansas City, he faced discrimination as a black man. One time, him and O'Brien were thrown out of a pizza shop. He said, when we walked in, I knew instantly that I was the only black guy in the place. And it never occurred to me. I mean, what a difference in, in how, you know, how African Americans saw the world back then and how some idiot Irish kid saw the world, white guys saw the world. Clarence declined to comment for the story, but has said in the past that he left the seminary and ultimately the Catholic Church because of its passive stance on civil rights issues at the time. Martin Luther King Jr.'s assassination near the end of his freshman year at Conception was the tipping point. Dr. King was assassinated, but we had gone, we had gone up uh, downstairs to the uh, Union area because that's where the only TV was, and we heard the news. And and, and as as it when it was over, we're walking upstairs, and somebody fired off a racist remark. Clarence returned to the Catholic Church after becoming a Supreme Court justice, which Neenan or O'Brien couldn't believe. So yes, I was surprised, but not not because of him, but just because I don't know that many important famous people. It's kind of crazy to think that instead of Justice Thomas, we could be calling him Father Thomas. Reporting for News Press Now, I'm Conrad Storff.